It is draft time once again on NHL 22. So I, I don't even know what category I'm doing it. You'll know based on the title and the thumbnail. I'm just going to go in and pick one at random. So we've done the shot draft. We've done the senses draft. I accidentally mixed those two up and put up the senses draft. Yeah, I put up the senses draft with the shot draft title and thumbnail. And then everyone's like in the comments saying, what is this? And then I went and watched it real quick. I was like, oh, that's a whoopsie. So I took that down, re-uploaded the shot draft. So the census draft is actually still on my computer. I will upload it eventually. But yeah, I have a, I have a, just a big queue of videos, which I mean, I kind of have to do. Like I've been uploading daily for I don't know how long now, which I didn't think I could even pull that off. But here I am. And I, yeah, I have quite a backup. So uh, it's just the way it is, you know? But yeah, that was a accidente. But it is what it is, as I've just said, like probably 20 times. That's like my favorite. It's either say la vie or it is what it is. Okay, you never know which one you're going to get, but you're getting one of them. The odd time you might get a it do be like that sometimes, but you know, it's very, very few and far between. So I'm going to go ahead and randomize the team here while staring into the camera. Boom, we get, ooh, San Josie. Let's go. The Sharks. My... Uh, Men's league team was the Sharks, and we have some pretty cool jerseys, but not really doing that a whole lot anymore. I've been playing three-on-three -three recently with a friend, which has been pretty fun. So I'm going to turn owner mode off. Fantasy draft, yes, please. Salary cap, we'll leave it on. Head coach, edit lines, you're a jabroni. Don't even think about it. Player morale, apparently it's pretty busted, so I just turn that off all the time now. CPUs can trade if it makes them feel better, but they're not going to win because I am. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding, I suck. Let's go ahead, start that career, and see what pick we get. Number eight. That's my guess. And we are number 22. Okay, well, you know what? It's, we should still have a pretty solid pick here. So which category do I want? Ooh, puck skills would be nice. Skating. Let's do the, the skating draft. Kids that are just beauties on the knives. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're, we're going with skating. Kairu. I would love to pick up Kairu. We got Hughes as well. Mitch Marner is still here. All right, we got a lot of good players to pick from. It goes all the way down to here. So Duchesne is the last one. So we have Barzell, Braden Point, Larkin, Ehlers, Marner. Hmm. I really want to take Kairu. I really do. But, ah, man, that's just like not a super solid. Is it though? Hmm. This is really tough. I want to take him. I, I seriously want to take him, but I just don't know if I can... Ah, screw it. You know what? Whatever happens, happens. I'm going to hopefully make this team work. I'm taking Kairu. Yeah, he's having a great year. Much deserved overall boost there. So we can still pick from quite a few players here, from Kapanen and up. In fact, we might have to take some of these players because they might not get drafted by someone else. So I'm going to take... The man who does the bird celebration, he has four abilities. Steven Stamkos, I would, but I feel like I take him too often. This is going to be a bit of a unorthodox one, I guess you could say. So Kuznetsov, welcome to the team. We got our next pick here. Lafreniere just went. Skating category. So we have the top four. Duchesne and up, and I am going to happily take Nikolai Ehlers. There you go. Yeah, I'm liking this team so far. We're probably going to have to take Duchesne, I'm guessing. Skating, uh, Taylor Hall. Yeah, I kind of want to take Taylor Hall. Kapanen's on a pretty good deal. Is he a two-way? He is a two-way forward, so we are really, really not focusing on defense right now, which is probably going to bite us. And I also don't have a goalie, which is also going to bite us. So maybe I'll take a goalie now. I don't really have to sort by a category for this, but uh, Jack Campbell has high backup potential. Nice. All right, well, Darcy Kemper, 86, Blackwood. I remember Blackwood played really good for me last time, but I want to try and pick players that I don't take a whole lot. Linus Allmark, Ranta. Oh, you know what? I might just have to. Uh, Darcy Kemper or Mackenzie Blackwood. I could even take Jack Campbell at one point. Mm, that contract is surreal. Ranta's is very good as well. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna, You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take Blackwood. He did good for me last time, as far as I remember. For all I know, he sucked, but yeah, at least 
I remember him doing good, so hopefully he can do it again. So apparently nobody wants Kapanen and nobody wants Duchesne, but you guys know the rules for this draft is that I can go to defense so we don't get totally screwed over and sort by the category here as well. And we would have to take Yandel, which I, I'm not super upset about. Good player. Yeah, let's take him. And round number seven. Let's see, if he's still here, Kapanen, I might just take him. He is. Duchesne went and Kapanen's still here. All right, 3.2 million for 83 overall. I don't know why no one's taking him, but, uh, well, he also doubles as a left winger, according to his positions. Let's take him. Kasperi, welcome to the Sharks. Sort by skating again. So we have only the top four to pick from. Yamamoto is someone that I don't take very often at all. He's on a very good deal as well. We already have three right wingers, but I don't think that matters all that much. You just play him on the left side anyway. Zuccarello. Very good player. Mm-hmm. Who do I take? You know what? I am going to take... Oh, I'm going to take Athenasiu, and I'm going to hope that Yamamoto is still there. Because this guy... Yeah, he should be super fast, right? 92 speed. Love that for you. I also just witnessed this man score last night against the Golden Knights. I was watching that game. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like last night. This would have probably been weeks ago at this point when this came out, but... Or when this comes out. Oh, man. I'm a disaster all over the place. Okay, Yamamoto is still here. We really got to focus on defensemen. I always start a sentence and then I get distracted and lose my train of thought. There's a lot of skaters with four-star skating. Oh, my word. Yeah, there's a ton of defensemen to pick from. So we are not hurting for picks. Yeah, Hull. And we got Suter there as well. He's only making 3.6. 85 overall. He would actually be very good. Is he the only 85? Because if so, I'm going to take him. Okay, he is. Yeah, I am going to take Suter. Where are you? He's playing for the Dallas Stars right now, right? I believe. Yeah, there we are. Nice. An 85 overall defenseman. So we got two 85s and it'll be an offensive defenseman. I believe Suter's a defensive defenseman. So that's going to be a pretty good chemistry boost, I think, anyway. I'm not super sure how that works yet. But to my knowledge, that should be pretty solid. Uh, Will Butcher. What overall is he? 81. 2 point... Hmm. Villamac, he's only making 1.5 and he's 80 overall. Low top 4. Two-way defender. Hmm. How much cap do we have? 44 million. Okay. So we, we can spend money here. We've been <laughs> being pretty conservative, it seems. So we definitely have the budget. Who should I pick? Should I go with Subban? I mean, I don't pick him very often making a lot of money but we definitely have the cap space ah uh, you know what though we're not too far in we still need two more wingers and well i guess overall we need three centers two wingers and four defensemen plus a backup goalie so yeah i'm not taking that nine million absolutely not let's go with oh, i want to take shattenkirk he's good 83 overall 3.9 million you know what? I'm going to do it. Kevin Shattenkirk, welcome to the team. 2.7 million, four-star skating, which is currently the highest we have left on the board. 81 overall. Miles Wood. Yeah. And then if I see Mikheyev down there too, I want to try and scoop him up if I can, if he's still there. So let's go to left wingers. And is he still going to be here? He was an 81. I guess there is better players on the board, but Mikheyev's sick. And we kind of need some depth. I mean, not really. But Marchment, yeah, he's up to 81. I'm pretty sure that he was like 78 before. I just said in a video recently that he's been doing quite well in real life. And he finally got that overall boost. Now I'm tempted to take him. He's a grinder. Mason Marchment. All right, sorry, Superman, but you have just been outdone by Mason. There we go. We have all of our wingers now. We do need centers. And we still need three more defensemen. So skating... There's so many here that I could probably just go and not really have to worry about it. But I will double check before I make the pick, obviously. Howla, 2.3 million and 82 overall. I feel like I take him pretty often, but yeah, we have one centerman right now. So I don't really have much of a choice. Let's just sort by centers, maybe. There should be quite a few here. Yeah, there is. Wow, there is a lot of four-star skating left, even just in the center category. McLeod. 77. Interesting. Mm, maybe. I'll come back to you. Blackwell. 
Victor Rask, Carter. We also have Backland, Kyle Turris. I haven't heard that name in quite a while. Tyler Johnson. You know what? I don't really ever draft this guy, I feel like. But today, today's the day. Johnson, welcome to the Sharks. boy. Hop on a plane. You're headed to California. And I'm going to sort by... Let's go defense. I need a defenseman. So let's go to the skating category. Once again, there is still a lot on the board here. So from Del Zotto and up, Sammy Vatanen at 79. We have Brody, but he's 5 million. We do have quite a bit of cap left still. So we, yeah, don't need to be super picky with the cap. Jake Gardner, 4 million, 82 overall, two-way defender. Schultz is an offensive defenseman. Okay, I kind of want to take Gardner as a two-way then because we already picked up Shattenkirk as the second pair offensive. So, yeah, that is my reasoning behind that. Let's take a backup goalie, finally. Who do we have? Mike Smith. He usually sims pretty well, actually. So maybe I will take him. Yeah, let's take him. Why not? We are easily staying within the cap this time. $23 million left, and we just need two defensemen and a centerman. So let's try to find... Anyone here who is good overall, regardless of their cap hit. Backland, maybe. We also have Rask, make him 4 milli. All right. Well, Backland is 82 overall, but I don't want to take him just for the cap. Jeff Carter, but he's a sniper, right? And then Backland's two-way forward. All right, let's go with Backland. We need two defenders to finish up the team, and we are good to go. So defense, let's go to the skating category. Oh, all right. We have from Mark Pizik and up. I am going to take Dehan. Kempney's good. All right, let's go with... He is a left-handed defenseman. I want to scout it out here. So we have left, left. Oh, no. All right, Vatanen is right-handed, and so is Pizik, so... I'm going to have to take one of these guys probably, and then I'll take one of the left-handed. I haven't really been paying attention of that up until now, but yeah, I guess it's never too late. So I'm going to take Dehan, because I feel like I don't really take him very often. And then I'll take either Pizik or Vatanen, depending on, well, they're probably both still going to be there. So I'll have to make up my mind. Yeah, Pizik and Vatanen are both here. So one is 79 overall. One is a year younger. They're both making very little <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, considering, you know, it is the NHL. Oh, I should have looked at player types. Well, I had Dehan. But it is going to be the final pair. Maybe I should just take a defensive defenseman. Mark Pizik. Yeah, let's take Mark, sure. Here we go. I feel like I haven't really taken Mark Pizik in forever, and I've probably taken the Vatanen... Lad, I was about to say Vatanen imposter, but no, that is the real Vatanen. If you've watched my goalie be a pros, you know. Sim entire draft, boom. Let's go put this team together. I don't know what to think of this team. I really don't, because our best player is Kuznetsov, and then we have Kairou, but... Nah, you know what? This team's going to be sick. We're going to be good. Head coach, edit lines, no. We have a plus three on the first pair there, or first line. I could do that, but then, hmm... Do I want a plus two and plus one, or do I want three and oh? That is the question. I then I see you and Kairou on the same line. That is just a speedy line right there. Mason Marchment. So that will do that. That, okay. Well, let's maybe do that then. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't pick up Justin Bailey. Yamamoto, get in here. Boom. There you are. All right. Well, that sort of spices things up a little bit in a not so good way. What to do, what to do. Huh. Yamamoto. I'll leave that for now. Defense. Mmm. Why is Yandel down to 83? What the heck? I thought he was 85. Maybe I... Well, I just did a roster update, so that probably changed it. Anyway, I'll take 0-2-1. That's cool with me. Goalies, Blackwood, and Smith. Yeah. So, it's just this I have to sort out. All right, you know what? Screw it. Our ice time allocation is roll three lines, so I'm not going to worry too much about this line. Yamamoto's not getting out there a whole lot. Sorry, man. And, yeah, there we go. Nice. I uh, I don't know what to think about this team. If I had to guess, I would say that 
Did I leave Fog of War on or something? Maybe that's why the overalls are all weird. I don't know. Regardless, I think we're going to do okay. I don't know if we'll make the playoffs, but I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. I, I changed my mind. We're not making the playoffs. I'm going to say that Kairu gets the most points, though. I feel like he's going to light it up. Oh, yeah. That is a sick line. So, I'm going to say he gets the most with 72. And, yeah. Hopefully, Blackwood and Smith can carry this team. Otherwise, we will not even be close to playoffs. Oh, yeah. We're looking real good out there. You know what? It's, it's all right. We can definitely come back from this. It's not like... <laughs> We're 1 in 13 or something. 10 4 loss to Columbus. What the heck is that all about? At least we get three wins in a row, though. Four wins in a row. Vancouver. Gonna end that streak. But, you know, it was nice while it lasted. A 1 0 victory over the Vancouver Canucks. All right. And then we lose two in a row. Big shootout win. The boys are buzzing. Winning a lot of hockey games all of a sudden. And that record is looking a lot better. We're still, you know, middle of the division. But we're definitely on the upward climb here. Yeah, let's just try to win a few more games going into the deadline. Don't do this. Why? Why do you go and get a pretty decent record and then just blow it? All the time. Keep the current trading block. Enter the trade deadline. Who is available? Should we pick someone up? Evgeny Malkin. I mean, maybe. You guys said you wouldn't mind if I make trades during these, so I'm kind of tempted. Pavel, 84 overall, PK, Subban, Doobie Doo. So let's maybe try to get Malkin. Yeah, why not? He's on the block. I won't really use draft picks or anything because that is sort of cheating. But let's go to skaters matching the block. They want Shattenkirk. Uh-huh. How many points does Shatty have? Is he doing well? He's doing pretty good. Crap. Well, well do they have any defensemen they could give us back? Lambos, 67 overall. Yeah, not really. What about here? Anyone with very low trade value that is at least decent overall? Okay, sure. Madison, yeah. If we're getting Malkin in return, then don't mind if I do. But uh, this trade's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough because of the fact... Wait, did Malkin just get traded? He might have got traded at some point. I don't know. What team is he even on? He is on LA. And LA just made a trade, but that wasn't for Malkin. So let me sort by centers here. Kuznetsov, how's Kuzi doing? He's doing very well. Crap. So I don't want to get rid of him. You know what? Screw it. I believe in the boys. Get me out of here. Alexander Holson, a sixth. Go to LA in exchange for Malkin and two thirds. So maybe that trade did happen and I couldn't have got him anyway, but I'm going to decline you Ian Cole that's a huge L but a nice couple W's there in Alberta and then we take home a W against the Ducks all right let's go boys come on fire me up don't you dare go on a massive losing streak all of a sudden yo the tendies I didn't really see how the goalies were doing but they seem to be not okay it's gonna say not letting in a whole lot of goals and they go and let in six but then they get a shutout next game so yeah it's looking like we Definitely have a shot at playoffs, and we are in against the Calgary Flames. Round number one. That is sick. All right, we did qualify. Let's go see how the league turned out. Ehlers with the most points, and he got 87. Wow, I didn't expect that. So the Calgary Flames won our division, 102. We got 95 points here. Good enough for fourth. And even the Golden Knights with 92 made it in. So we weren't even really on the edge, per se. We are in in quite a convincing fashion. Colorado wins the... I was about to say the Hart Ross, but that is the wrong trophy. They win the Presidents. Yeah, 111 points. Pretty solid year from them. Seattle Kraken finishing 8th. Let's go all the way to the bottom here just to see. So the last team that qualified was the 18th placed Ottawa Senators. And there you have it. The LA Kings... I now understand why they're trying to get rid of Malkin, I suppose. So Nikolai Ehlers put up 87 points. What a mad lad. Four abilities on the kid, too. Kuznetsov put up 81. Taylor Hall with a nice amount of points. 40 goals, too. That's sick. Kairou put up 59. He was only a zero, though. So that second line, something weird's going on there. But the first line definitely clicked. Yandel put up 52. Shattenkirk, 45. Kapanen, 44. Let's go. Yeah, we're getting some... 
pretty good production here. Athanasiu, okay, that second line just is not working. I thought it would be very good, but crap. Now something's got to something's gotta change there. Yamamoto, he's up to 81. He actually went up. All right. So, hmm. Let's check out the goalies, but I'm trying to think in my head of line changes. And I might bring Yamamoto up. So, Mackenzie Blackwood got a 907, 284, and Mike Smith, legend, 13, 7, and 1, 916, 245. Also, eight shutouts for Mackenzie Blackwood. Certified mad lad. Let's go to the entire league and just check that out real quick. So, Ulmark got the most with 45. Nice. Actually, I want to go check out Colorado's lines too. A 928 save percentage and 40 wins. Cal Peterson with the Washington Capitals. What an absolute legendary season. I'm going to go to the skaters now. Actually, let's go to forwards and then defensemen. I want to give the defensemen their own little spotlight. So Matthews with 97. He is going to win the Art Ross. Kyle Connor with 94. Yeah, he's unreal. He's so sick. Malkin ended up getting 92. Wow. Jack Eichel with 88. Ehlers with 87. So he's up there. McDavid, 86. Let's go. Okay, let's check out the defenseman now. We got 78 from Quinn Hughes. I could have had him in the first round, but I did not. Adam Fox went one pick before us. He put up 77. 72 from McCarr. And yeah, quite a few defensemen. Moritz! Atta boy! Yeah, let's go. Let's view the lines for Colorado because they won the president. So they have Kaprizov, Petterson, and Moore on their first line. All right. And then Sissons, Line A, or Sissons, I'm not really sure. It could be either or. Line A, Druen, Hoglander. Their team, they have Superman. That's probably why, isn't it? 84 center on the fourth line. Love to see it. Line A is playing center, and he's left wing slash right wing, and he has 65 faceoffs. Okay. But he did all right. And if we go to defense, I don't know why they did so good. I don't get it. I mean, their team's all right, but they're not really... Okay, well, there's something about this game that I clearly just don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go edit our lines. And on that note, I want to view lines. I want to see Calgary. How are they looking? Because that's our opponent here. Oh, my word. All right. That is scary. Second line, Mercer, Taves, and... Robertson, oh yeah, this is this is a scary team, but you know, we can beat them. We beat them near the end of the year there, so we could do it again. And Okay, so they're weak in net. Their goalies are not superb. That's good to know, good to know. Edit the lines for us now. I'm going to try to bring Yams everywhere up. Yams, you can go there. I then see you. Can, hmm, he is a left wing slash right wing. That's going to be like a scoring third line, you know, but they have a minus one, and I don't think I can really change that. Unless Tyler Johnson, how many points did he get? He got, can I see that somewhere? Might have to go to here. He got 42, so he did all right. And is there any way I can make this? Not really. Okay, we're just going to leave it. It's going to be, uh, and I, but Ehlers did so good, and that didn't even make it a 2-1 anymore, so. Yeah, we're going to run with this. We're going to run with this and see what happens. Defense, we're still good there. And Annette, Blackwood, and Smith. Okay, playoff time, baby. Just going to sim right through it here up to the 15th of whatever month that is. Probably June, and it doesn't matter because we got spanked anyway. Love that. At least we won one, you know. We got a single victory in there, and the Flow Rider Panthers going to win the Stanley Cup. Okay, let's go have a look at the trophy, shall we? Five points from Ehlers in the playoffs. Point a game. Legend. He did so good for us. Let's check out the awards. So the President's Trophy. Never mind, it starts at Stanley. I forgot about that. Florida, and then Colorado, and Anaheim made it to the finals. Individual, we got Matthews with the Art Ross, and the Hart. The Norris goes to Fox. Matthews also gets the Lady Bing. The Calder goes to Moritz. Well-deserved. Bailey with the Con Smythe. Peterson with the Vesna and the Jennings. White Cloud gets the Masterton. Belmar with the Jack Adams. Sydney the Kidney with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay to Matthews. And the Maurice Rock Richard to Alexander Overchicken. Good stuff. Show you the playoff tree. And that's going to do it. So that was the best skating draft. 
I mean, we made the playoffs. I didn't really expect us to even make the playoffs, so I'm going to chalk that up as a W. I'm going to say that we did better than I expected. So, yeah, good on you, team. Sure, we got rinsed in round one, but at least we got to round one. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.